Have you ever clicked render on After Effects and thought to yourself, I'm gonna go watch a whole season of Friends until it finishes? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can massively improve render times and render file sizes in After Effects. What is going on everyone, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm Red, and I make filmmaking, video editing and visual effects tutorials on YouTube. So if you guys like such videos, then please consider subscribing down below. Now without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so I have this project inside of After Effects and I'm, I want to render it. So typically what anyone would do is you just click Ctrl plus M and you have your composition right here. Let me just delete this thing real quick. And now if you go to the render settings, it's set to best full and use, I'm gonna click use comps frame rate because I want this rendered in 60 frames per second. And then we're gonna go to the output module. And here is where all the magic happens if you wanna render inside of After Effects. So I'm gonna click audio output off because, off, audio output off because I don't have any audio. And typically After Effects was, after Effects will render your videos in AVI format. So you can go click QuickTime and click OK. This is gonna help reduce the file sizes. And finally, you can choose where you wanna output your video to. So this is your ordinary typical rendering method. Now, what I would do is I would go back to my comps. This is the one that I wanna render. And you're gonna go over here to Composition and click Add to Adobe Media Encoder. So what this will do is it's gonna open up Adobe Media Encoder and you're gonna render your After Effects project inside of Adobe Media Encoder. Now once you've launched Adobe Media Encoder, your video should be in the Q tab right here. And wh what you wanna do is make sure that your format is set to H.264. As for the preset, we're gonna click here. Once you click on the preset, you're gonna notice that your this uh, export settings is gonna pop up and it's exactly like the one in Premiere Pro and Premiere Pro renders, renders a lot faster than After Effects does. So typically here what you would do is you just do the same things, um, render at maximum depth, maximum render quality, and you choose your bit rate. I've noticed that this doesn't exactly reduce your render times, even if you reduce it down to 0.19. Um, and in Premiere Pro, it really does affect your render times, but in After Effects, only if you have motion graphics or a title sequence inside of After Effects, I've noticed that this does not affect your rendering times so I'm just gonna set this to 5 and uh, everything is set like I want 1920 by 1080 60 frames per second okay so once you're done you're just gonna click OK and we're gonna come up to this um, start queue button right here and we're just gonna start rendering now as you can see this is super fast a lot faster than what you would have rendered it in Premiere in After Effects and the file sizes are gonna be a lot smaller so I'm gonna render both in the media encoder and in After Effects uh, and we're gonna compare the file sizes for both all right so as you can see here I have rendered the After Effects project and from After Effects the size is roughly 2 gigabytes 1.93 gigs and if we take a look at the Adobe media encoder it's about 34 megabytes 33.9 exactly so you can see that there is a huge difference in file sizes and that is mainly because After Effects renders your projects in AVI files and uncompressed and Adobe Media Encode renders your videos in MP4 which is a lot more compressed and it's going to save you on render times and render file sizes. So that is it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do leave a like down below, subscribe for more content and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.